Hello and welcome to episode 14 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here in Cycle 20, Day 1. Last time, we expanded a whole bunch of different things around our map here, including adding this area that is still getting set up to be another tree farm and mangrove fruit growing area, and started the process of making it out to the final ring for expansion into Badwater Collection. And we've got a whole lot of fun stuff to get to in today's episode with regard to that along with some other things that you guys mentioned offhand in the comments of last time. So, uh, got a couple comments saying that we did not have any paths connecting here, and you're absolutely correct. So, let's fix that right off the bat. That's all taken care of. Good to go. Uh, this is currently paused. The dirt excavator is because we don't have a lot of extract left, and I would like to keep some of that for dynamite so we can uh, blow up stuff that we need to blow up or we're able to really do too much crazy stuff. Outside of that, there's a few other things as well. Uh, people had a couple of comments to make about my settings for the automated uh, dumps here. Specifically that these uh, two values are too close together. Uh, 2.81, yes, I know the M is meters uh, for those of you who were confused as to uh, what that was. It's just, this is a whole lot for my brain to take in at once because of the way it's laid out. It's just, but I know M means meters. I'm not that dumb. So thanks for your concern, <laughs> I suppose. But uh, this unpausing at 2.7 meters should be a lot lower to allow our beavers to, you know, go do other things. So I'm going to move that down to, I don't know, around 2.3 something, whatever, whatever fits. And we'll do the same thing here as well, just to keep this uh, turned off a little bit longer. And then, of course, this one as well. 2.81 is probably okay right there. And then I do obviously don't have any more than these three currently automated. I should, uh, at some point, automate these up here as well. But I, we have 18 beavers that aren't currently doing anything, so I'm not really going to be that worried about it. It's just something that we want to keep uh, track of moving forward. But the main thing, the star of the show today is going to be getting into this area and doing all sorts of bad water fun. And there's a lot that we need to talk about to do this. Uh, one of our viewers, Beard Booster, goes by the name of Steve. Uh, you might see him in the credits as the Steve who is in, uh, I guess, Romanized Japanese phonetics. I don't even have any idea how that's supposed to be pronounced, lest I be... Uh, spit roasted by those of you who actually know how to speak Japanese, but uh, suffice to say, uh, he put a lot of work in, and the Discord uh, shared a couple of screenshots uh, earlier this week, and I like the idea, so I think we're going to recreate it, maybe not 100% uh, the way he did it, but I really, really liked that idea. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, just so we don't uh, get into too much crazy stuff here. Also, it's about to be nighttime, uh, but what he did is he enclosed this entire thing right here with terrain blocks, made it completely level. And then he built kind of a, uh, I guess a dam around this and then put, uh, you know, I might as well just kind of show you what he had going on here just to give you a little bit of an idea. Also, they can't really get down here, so I guess it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but the, the idea is he's created something where these four bad water sources are actually fully contained. So let's just do this right quick here. Bear with me, folks, I know. But uh, the idea is this is fully contained, so the bad water actually has to stay here and be pumped up by uh, pumps, bad water pumps, that would go in uh, this area. And I am going to tear this out and do it properly, but just to give you an idea, it, he wants it to pump out of here because this is going to just be corralled in the middle. Uh, let's see if I can get this all to go on one. Yes, I sure can. So the idea is this is completely, completely separated. And then in the middle here, I'm, again, I'm not going to do this completely the way that uh, that needs to be right now because there's a lot of stuff we have to do in a specific order to make it work. But uh, this entire front, I'm not going to, again, not going to do it all at once right now. But this entire front, save for a couple pieces on the end, is dam pieces to let the water out, but to retain enough of it constantly so that these can be pumped out. And, importantly, so that it does not backflow into this, uh, I guess, uh, second tier irrigation, third tier irrigation, whatever, whatever you want to call this. It's mostly going to be good water because these are just regular water sources. Uh, but the most important thing about this, and I regret that I can't show you right now because I have to come in here and 
uh, get rid of these blueberries. But uh, he's come over here and he's actually dredged out channels uh, four blocks wide here and then filled them with large water wheels uh, back to back, of course. And, uh, you know, I might actually just put the screenshot up on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, the idea is that it creates this whole area that is going to be pretty much the one stop shop, if you will, for bad water collection and has plenty of power generated uh, by sending the water through the power wheels, water wheels. What I always want to call them power wheels, whatever. That's that's the, the toy dump truck your kid rides on in the front yard. Um, if they even still make the dump trucks, it's probably all like metal Teslas or something now. But um, yeah, that's the idea. And we can also put in all of our fun stuff like our centrifuges all the way around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, etc. So that's going to be something we get into. Uh, but for that to happen, we really have to make sure that we are uh, having stuff set up the correct way, he says, as he fails to delete things the correct way. And it's going to be a little bit of an involved process. So let's get a... Uh, Let's get through the night here, but you can, you can see how much water is coming through here and how much power this might generate. So the first thing we're going to want to do, obviously, is connect across here. Uh, we would need to unlock the longer bridges, which, you know, we want to do anyway. But uh, 3200 science, we don't quite have. We're on our way there. We are on our way to getting that much science. Uh, we just have to have a couple more of these inventors, which, you know, we probably should have been doing this whole time anyway. So we'll just go ahead and put in another set of, you know, I'll do more than eight. We'll just have these guys going nonstop. Build a whole bunch of these, get our beavers employed. This is 16. I know, well, actually, that's exactly how many unemployed we have right now. So that'll keep them busy for a little bit, and then we can keep on coming down here. But uh, the idea is we're going to have the bridge coming across here, and then when it comes down off of this uh, we're gonna have to have these first two rows right here uh, cleared off these are gonna be pretty much entirely the bad water pumps all the way down well except right here because they're gonna have to uh, have somewhere to uh, have a I guess staircase come down off of this but this is all gonna be bad water pumps there's going to be a pathway well I can put the pathway in right now that's not gonna be a problem but pathway coming all the way down here actually did I uh did I measure this incorrectly? I might have. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We are just going to kind of go and do what we have to do uh, to, to make this work. I think I think I had this set up correctly. Maybe I didn't. Uh, because of the spacing of this, are these all the same, same uh, distance apart? I thought I'd done this correctly when I set this map up. Yeah, it looks like they are. I don't know. I'm going to have to... Uh, figure this out because this whole thing does have to be completely completely contained well i guess there's not really any harm in me just uh doing this right now because obviously they can't get to it but if we count our uh our tiles here please don't crash thank you in the picture i'm looking at i believe i believe it's four tiles long before it turns back uh which would make sense but i do only have the one view of it that he submitted so we will see if it ends up being uh, something that makes sense. We could also, you know, just uh, expand this out. He, you know, he might have even left this in a comment and I just am stupid and didn't read it. But we might have to blast this out a tiny bit because in the middle, if you remember from looking at this, uh, he's got the, uh, the tanks back to back. And each tank is three wide. So if we were to do this right here, no, there's actually the perfect amount of uh, perfect amount of space right here to do that. We just have to have enough done right here. I just the math isn't adding up on <laughs> it's not adding up on the the image I'm looking at. I'm not really sure, not really sure what happened there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just uh, too simple-minded for this. Not sure. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll get it figured out, I guess, but they can't reach this anyway right now. So, uh, oh, wow, they're already here, already making plenty of science. So we will go ahead and get the uh, larger bridges unlocked. Just get the six by one. And then we can think about how we want this to be 
uh, moved across. Because don't forget, there's still, despite everything, still going to be that gap. So it, it does have to reach out into the channel a little bit uh, to match height. This is going to have to be four blocks tall. So we will have right here and right here. And then uh, the six by one bridge can uh, come out just like that. And then we'll have to come over here and do the same thing. But I guess the advantage of doing that that way is that I don't need to have this here. That can actually just be the entire uh, entire situation like that. So the, uh, the other bad thing about how this is set up is, unfortunately, uh, they can build this no problem. But they're not going to be able to build this because these platforms are not uh, accessible until they're built. Which, you know, makes sense. So we are going to have to come in here with a please don't crash. Thank you, game. Uh, set of ladders to get down so they can walk all the way over here and build those platforms. But this is going to get that here. And then I think, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just had this whole thing set up super incorrectly or, oh, you know, what? he might have even been working on a different, uh, a different version of the map that has these set in closer together. Yeah, I think that's what the problem is. I think that's what the problem is. Because uh, this version of the map is not available to download. But uh, the original creator of this uh, terrorist map did recreate it. And they, they must have put these a little bit closer together. Because uh, I have them separated. What a simple solution. I have them separated by two. And these outer ones might be only be separated by one. Or what have you. So it's... Uh, Something I should have caught earlier, I guess, but... Oh wait, what side were we even on for this? I already got lost. That's amazing. Um, yeah. So, uh, for it to match exactly what he did in his, uh, his screenshot, I would have to come right through the middle of this guy, which uh, I shouldn't have to tell you is not a, a viable option here. So, that is, I guess, how that's going to have to work. Everything else math-wise works out perfectly fine. So that will be done like so. And we'll get that all taken care of. But we will have to blast the channels on the outside first. Just uh, just so you're aware because of how uh, the water flow works. You don't want to block this off until the water has somewhere else to go. That's, that's going to be a bad time. So we will not do that. So they're going to take their sweet time uh, taking care of all this. I will super deprioritize uh, construction of, well, actually uh, not of that, because they're going to have to be able to uh, get all that in place, but I do need them to go down the ladder first, so we can take care of that, and then build the bridge, they can go across the bridge, etc, etc, etc. So it looks like, based off of how this is set up, I'm going to still be able to put the uh, the trench right here, and have more or less an identical uh, layout to how he had it going. Uh, he's got a four wide trench and then a little bit of space for water folding at the bottom. Uh, the trench that he's dug out is three deep with the very end uh, being four deep. So this again is a four deep height here. Uh, so what we'll end up having to do is triple dynamite this entire thing four wide uh, because of the amount of extract that we have I'm not sure we can do both sides at once we might have to build this piecemeal and then uh, work backwards from there but uh, you know you know how it goes we do what we can with what we have and then we come back and do the rest so uh, we're gonna have to let them take their sweet time and get all this done uh, the planks we have run out of excuse me because I paused these last time as we were waiting for wood let's turn these all back on and uh, that, of course, is going to send some of the beavers out of our uh, inventor huts. But that is fine. That's the intended behavior of those. Uh, so we just need to deprioritize all of these inventor huts since I did not mark that when we were building them. And then everything should be a-okay. There we go. Natural order of things can be restored. And we have nine buildings that are not occupied. Uh, and that would be six of these inventor huts and then, I don't know, something else plus these guys I guess nine spots yeah close enough math is hard as I say every single waking second of my life but uh, they'll get this taken care of 
we'll have our path go all the way across and everything should be hunky dory from there. So wooden stairs can come in here. We could also, you know, put in metal stairs or the decoration ones if we really felt like it, but I uh, just felt like the actually know what? No, nope. It's got to be a ladder. Got to be a ladder. I know what a, what a terrible tragedy. I have to use ladders. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> but uh, we'll put the ladder here because this is going to be all the way across with uh, dirt, obviously, to force the water through the outside. And we'll want to put a path on top of that. But we do not, again, do not want to block this off until we absolutely have to. So we will get that taken care of. We got 2,100 berries. I am not going to lose sleep uh, policing the amount of berries that we do or do not have here. So uh, this will just completely be just eliminated of berries. Again, going to take a while because they have to build all of this stuff and that could take them quite some time. But uh, these are going to be destroyed. Four wide thing here. Uh, always, always want to call them power wheels. Water wheels, large water wheels through here generating tons of power shafts along this side shafts well no shafts along this side but still access uh, I think eventually we might want to put bots uh, charging stations here along this side of the path depending on how uh, stuff gets uh, looked at here I just I can't believe I can't believe the uh, the spacing of these things was different being the problem I don't know that's that's just one of those things that kind of melts my brain uh, when I think about it, I was like, why is this Why is this like this? It shouldn't have to be like this. But I digress always and forever till the end of time. Uh, we can go ahead and just kind of roughly get this outlined here. Uh, this obviously is going to have to be done as well. Uh, we'll have a uh, bridge across here. We are going to blow up this little ridge right here so the water can flow uh, through here properly. And that hopefully is not going to be an issue. Uh, but the six by bridges here, he says before uh, failing to place them, are going to be too long. Um, we're going to have to also unlock, I think, I think the five by is going to be the perfect length for that. So we will uh, we'll take care of that when the time comes. Again, we don't need it right now because we don't have the resources to do all of this at once. Just got to make it work with what we're able to do. So they can't reach that because they can't get to the uh, thing here. Can they uh, Can they reach it now? No, doesn't seem like it. If I put this here. Oh, wow. Nope. This was the problem. Duh. <laughs> That's why they couldn't reach it. I hadn't, uh, uh, hadn't figured that out yet. All right. Well, that's all looking fine. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a long project for them to take care of, so we're not going to spend all our time focused on this. We are going to have to kind of bounce around a little bit to uh, different things. So let's take a look at everything else here. We have 31 free beds. That is okay. Tons of food, tons of water. We still, I know, still have not put in fermenters to handle the rest of our food uh, stuff that we are growing, so we will need to address that. I think it is well past time that that gets handled. I just don't have any idea what the best way to uh, set this up is and I don't think anybody gave me suggestions and if you did I somehow missed it but uh, the shape of the fermentation buildings if I can click on the correct thing uh, it's not exactly the easiest thing to work with uh, obviously we want to have this above the path uh, but if I did this here it still it wouldn't quite reach the uh, correct area that I've been wanting to go to so we're gonna have to play with it a little bit please do bear with me as I uh kind of just generally fumble around trying to figure out uh, what the best way of uh, doing all this stuff is going to be. That's that's just the way it goes. Although, if you've uh, been watching these videos long enough, you're going to understand why, why that is the way it is. That's just how my brain operates. So, you've been warned. Anyway, I digress. We have all the space down here for medium warehouses. Uh, which I'm going to end up moving all of the food into. Uh, water storage right here really does not need to be here. That can go away. The extract we still need. So I'm not trying to mess with that too much. So why don't we just take our medium warehouses and stick these guys right here. This will actually fit perfectly well if we remove uh, these things right here. I'll we'll just put medium warehouse here, medium warehouse here. And then uh, we need to figure out our layout of our other buildings so we can do ladders. 
And the way this is set up, I, I really don't know. We, I, we have a ladder. Uh, that's a platform. That's a ladder right there. That's going to be fine. But we really should have another one somewhere else. It's just the way the way that this bad thing is laid out is uh, not exactly in our favor. I guess, uh, I guess this is fine. I guess it's okay. Because, th again, the fermentation buildings really are not set up in a way that is uh, conducive to things making sense. I, I always have to pause to do this or it's just going to keep building it. But if I did something like this... I mean, I guess that kind of works. It's just not... It's just not optimal, you know? It's not a perfect solution. I could just back to back to back to back to them. And I think I could fit a couple more in here doing it that way. We have fewer open spaces. But again... Uh, the, the power has to be conducted between things, and this does transfer power. It just completely kind of blocks things out and uh, not really going to be fantastic. The only thing I could think of maybe as a better option is to create these pods, but then you have to have a ladder in the very middle of this, and this setup isn't quite engineered to work that way. You know, I actually really like that idea, but we, we'd have to have it on top of uh, things that are not these medium warehouses. We'd have to move everything around. And since we already have the path here to access these guys, it just makes sense to have that there. So we will, uh, I'm sure, continually uh, go back and forth on how this is supposed to be set up. But if we did, oh, you know what? This actually, this actually could be genius. <laughs> if we just replace these guys with ladders... We would have to make sure that we're not, uh, oh, that's going to be directly in front of the, uh, the doorways. Yeah, we can't do that. Well, see, this is, this is why, this is why we can't do that. So, you know how this goes. It's just trial and error. Those of you who like the refined, super, uh, edited versions of videos, well, if you're watching this episode, I'm sure you don't, <laughs> but if you do... Uh, I am sorry. That's not me. It's And it probably never will be. I have neither the uh, patience nor resources to make a bunch of videos like that and actually accomplish anything else. So that is not how it's going to be. But this will be for raw materials. Which I guess if it's for raw materials is probably fine to just have a ladder here. But again, we do have to be... Uh, cognizant of where stuff is going. So, I don't know. I do not like, do not like this furniture building design. It's very hard to work with. Very, uh, I'm not going to say it's a bad design because it's a building. It works. It's unfair to say it's a bad design because I don't like it, but it is difficult for me to work with. We'll, uh, we'll say that. Oh, they can't build this because they can't reach it. All right, well, Time for a ladder, because they should be able to reach it from the top of the ladder. I guess we'll uh, see what happens. Let's make that a priority. I really need to get them down here to do this, and we need to have we need to have food. So again, no no great options exist here. So I think I think we're just gonna kind of have to deal with it. Not really uh, not really anything else I can think of. If we just had this set up. Uh, we could also have a ladder at the end if we wanted to. I think it's just, uh, yeah, just really, really suboptimal. Really not what we want. But again, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? It's just, it's, it's not, not working. Not, not smart. Whoever designed this was dumb. I get to say that because it was me. So, uh, what, what did I put here? Cassavas? Yeah. We'll have two for cassavas. R uh, mind you, the soybeans are still over here. Uh, two for cassavas, and then two for mushrooms. Uh, they obviously can't access these yet, but uh, we'll just have this set up like so, I guess. that's. I hate it. It's ugly, but it works, and it gets us to be able to make... Uh, be able to make food. Again, none of this is permanent up here. This is just getting stuff done. That's it. We're, we're going we're gonna to figure out a better way to do this. This is just until I can have everything down here the way I want it to. 
that's uh, just the way the cookie crumbles. So this is done. This can go away. As a matter of fact, okay, no, I'm not gonna not gonna lose sleep over this. Not gonna lose sleep over it. We're just gonna do it the way that makes sense. Now they gotta come in and they gotta finish uh, this suspension bridge. And then they can build the rest of this. Then they can build this. Then they can come in here and get rid of all of this stuff. And then we can finally move on with our lives. Speaking of, uh, I do need to deprioritize these so I can come in and actually dig the channel first. I told you this is going to be a long process. You know what you signed up for. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. All I got to say about it. Make sure these aren't set to be cut. Uh, we are gathering mangroves here, planting mangroves here very slowly, uh, working their way out. Uh, these should not still be marked for cutting. Let's oh, wait. No, they have to be. Duh. Uh, they have to be. And I'm not going to wait for those to get cut down. I'm just going to uh, destroy those and we will replant the trees. So uh, the reason these are marked as unplanted is so they will spread naturally into these other ones because our forester cannot reach all the way out and I am not going to build another one just for those trees to spread. So in case you were wondering, that is why those don't have the uh, dark brown background underneath them. That should be okay. Uh, I do also need to do this side and then the other two right here and then the other two right here. So we only have three out of a possible eight of these kinds of setups. We don't need all that yet. We will get there. Uh, I do want this to be I guess a little bit more symmetrical, but that's something that takes a whole long time. Might end up time lapsing some of it. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on uh, people's interest in the series and how long it takes to do other stuff. But I think once we have this thing uh, set up down here the way that I want it to be, it's going to be pretty impressive. Or at the very least, it'll be somewhat interesting. So that's going to be cool. Everything else seems to be working just fine. I do need to have more dirt. We only have 66 pieces of dirt, and we're going to need quite a bit to do this, but uh, I can't run this until I have some more extract. So it, it's, it's going to be a little bit of, uh, what's the expression, robbing Peter to pay Paul back and forth until we can have enough dynamite and enough extract to clear the way to get more extract and stuff uh, set up. Lots and lots of back and forth. But this side is done. And they are now working on this one. Just about done with everything except the logs. Got some more planks to bring in, but uh, thankfully those are being produced in mass quantities. And this should end up being pretty nice when it's done. Just got to take our time and wait appropriately, etc., etc., etc. So outside of that, um, everything else looking pretty good. We probably could stand to have a little bit more coffee, and someone did suggest that we put another coffee, that's not a coffee, another coffee brewery right here to keep our coffee stuff filled up. Uh, we do have storage 2400, we only have 1734 currently, uh, but I don't really see the need to build another one of these right now. Uh, we can, and you know, we probably should, but we don't need to. The reason this wasn't here is because I had the uh, flywheels here. But that hasn't been uh, been ha hasn't been that was totally unintentional. I promise, hasn't been a priority. But hey, we'll just we'll stick this here anyway. No reason not to. It's just kind of one of those things that exists. And this is done, which is super fantastic, exciting, good stuff. And now they can come in here and uh, get rid of these uh, blueberry plants. I know the dead ones don't have to be marked for removal, but I I really don't want to sit here and put a bunch of paths out like all over the place so I was just going to let them do their thing all right so uh, triple dynamite uh, we're gonna do the middle two first and then go on to the outside although I guess we don't really have to do it that way I just know each of these triple dynamites we put down requires two extract we only have 178 uh, so that is going to mean that we have uh, math Less than 90, 89 to be precise, uh, possible triple dynamite things that we can put down. And that is not going to be enough to do both sides. Like I said, I th think it should be enough 
to do uh, to do four wide here? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So three wide, or three deep rather, uh, does get us down to the level of uh, even right here, which is perfectly fine. We just have to make sure that we are uh, not wasting not wasting our extract. So I lied. We're not going to do the two in the center. We're going to do the two on the far side first. So we'll come in uh, right here, right here, and come up like so. I believe is going to be the way to do it. We're going to have to have uh, some other way of uh, getting across here, but uh, get rid of that. Do these two, and then I believe... If everything is correct in my head here, that should, should allow us to uh, do what we need to do and get one side of this up and running. Now, if after they place all of this, we don't have uh, at least uh, math, you know, I'm going to forget it. I'm not even going to attempt to do the mental math because I know I'm going to get it wrong. And someone is just going to absolutely lose their marbles uh, at my utter incomprehensibility of math. Just that I look, I, I'm just not good at math. My brain is not set up for it. So we can we can count, though, uh, if I have two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yikes. So this is 38. So that's going to be that's going to be math. That's going to be 76, I think. Uh maybe. It's somewhere between 70 and 80. That's all I know, which is technically less than we need to uh, uh need to have. So I guess we're going to be all right. Boy, this hurts my brain. Might have been a mistake trying to do all this, but hey, we're going to have a good time. And this is working. Yes, it is. Those are both going. Uh, we have so much extra coffee here. That's that's why I was thinking we might as well just go ahead and do this. Uh, make sure that's taken care of. Because uh, what I haven't done is I have not built another set of um, tanks over here, which we probably do need to do. Uh, this was set to... Oh, that's right, because of... Uh... So how that was... Why did I do it like that? That didn't make any sense. Well. Might as well go ahead and... Why is this here? Get out of here. Let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, it's going to be... Right like so. Uh, how did I do it on this side? Yeah, I had those spinny... Car wash things. Scratchers. Yeah, that was going to be right here. Right here. Uh, water on the l no coffee on the left. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter, but might as well if we're going through all this all this other effort to get stuff uh, situated in a nice symmetrical way. Might as well do it the right way, right? All right, so that's going to be there. We've just got to get the rest of this in. Now go ahead and connect this. Mark that for removal. Uh, get that as well. And we're going to be on our way, folks. Going to be on our way, hopefully. Hopefully. What in the... Oh, this is a new Update 5 thing. The large power wheel. My god, look at... This is majestic. <laughs> 300 HP. That's actually viable. That's viable. Early game. For, uh, for Iron Teeth. It's too bad we didn't have access to that before. 100, 100 logs is a lot, but 300 HP, that's a... Uh, quite a bit of power to have access to early game uh, with no water or no uh, no access to metal. That is, that's cool. Uh, but the reason I came over here, of course, was to uh, try and figure out the math to this. Now, this is, n I think I said it was a 19. So there is going to be a little bit of an overhang uh, for how this is set up, but I think we want the overhang to be um, on this end. If I remember correctly, if I have one here. I'm going to use my finger on my monitor to make sure this is in the right spot because that's very scientific. Uh, three there, and then 
or okay, I can't put it there. So it's not going to go here. It's going to go here. So it's a one block offset. That is uh, perfectly fine, I suppose, because I do want I want this to be flush on the end here because we're going to have to have uh, an end around to get to the other side. Or I could do a two I could do a two block offset and just come straight flush here. I think that might be might be advantageous to do it that way. So I might actually build that way first. Unless we think we should have the excess on this side, but uh, you know what? That that might actually be better to have it on this side. No. I did say that I was not a hundred percent committed to following it exactly, just the uh, general spirit of the idea. So I guess that is gonna have to be the uh, the right thing to do. So let's get this exploded. Nobody's going to come across here, right? Good. So that is now a triple wide. It is going to kind of backfill a little bit with bad water. But you can see... Uh, well, maybe it won't. Not until we have stuff set up. But you can see how that's looking like that's going to be a good thing. Um, I believe I can now just come over here. Depending on how I want to have this set up. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't... Uh, I should have gotten rid of those. That's going to be a problem. But if I have this set up with a triple plat... No, 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 no. Not here, not here. Set up with a triple platform here and here. That, I think, is going to be the way we want to do it. But uh, if I have this set like so. One, two here. Actually, I, if I'm just doing this, I can have this set up either way. If I have this overhang out like this. Uh, we, we've determined water depth uh, underneath the wheel does not matter for speed uh, through different tests, but if I have it set up like that, that actually looks kind of cool uh, hanging out like that. Uh, we are going to want to have a little bit of water folding extra space down here, so I will set uh, I believe the space under those two is going to be set up just fine, but uh, all of these nubs right here are going to be facing out this way and then on this one they're going to come this way as well. We just haven't detonated that yet. So that's just supposed to give you an idea of how this is set up. We're going to roll that way. And since I know now that we have enough uh, enough dynamite set up to do that then we're going to be in good shape. Drought approaching. Well, that's going to be fun. Uh, we have plenty of water stored up but I do want to make sure that this is Oh, good. We do have capacity there. That's going to be nice. Um, I believe... I believe that's going to be okay. So let's get that put in. Uh, I need them to stop using the dirt until we can start making some more stuff. Yeah, we're going to run into a problem here if they have the dirt here first. Because I... Well, actually, no, maybe not. Because I need, I need the water to come back around here. I know I'm not going to have enough dirt. And I'm not going to have enough extract if I run the uh, the dirt excavator. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Should I, should I do it that way or should I? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. It really does not need to be something to be stressed out about. It's supposed to be, supposed to be fun. Um, so let's... Put these in, and then I guess I can come back here and do uh, the rest of that when the time comes. I'm just so curious about how this is going to work. It might take us a little while to actually actually get this done. Especially because they have to walk all the way down here. Uh, eventually, I do think I want all the industry to be completely automated with bots which is part of the reason why I had this uh, set up the way I did. But now we can put this here and this here. I believe that will get us uh, where we want to go. So this is going to be... You know what? I'm just going to mark the ones that I know have to be... Uh, have to be removed and then uh, the rest of these. Yes, I know. I just said I didn't want to deal with paths, but... Uh, I will just go ahead and do the paths. 
because that probably is what I should have been doing the whole time. Because I could just come in with the demolished building stool and get rid of all that. So that works. Uh, this is deprioritized, so they should come build this. Uh, this being all of our dynamite. But they're sleeping right now. So I guess that's fine. Uh, water storage wise, we're up to 6,000. Uh, again, the, the droughts here are not super long. It's not going to be a big deal because it's probably, I mean, at, at the longest will be nine days. Definitely, definitely could be much worse and probably would in any other scenario, but hey, we're working. It's fine. We got storage now for 3,600 coffee. So our coffee breweries should be working overtime here to get everything uh, rocking and rolling here. And I believe that's going to be a okay. All right, now they're actually putting in all of our dynamite. I can go ahead and set these off because they're done. And then, yeah, we'll just wait for all of this to get put in place. And then we'll get that all locked and loaded. Now, in a drought, these bad water sources also stop, which is going to be, I guess, good for us to build here. But the bad part is... Uh, we're not gonna have any uh, not gonna have any more bad water coming out, so we will um, we will need to just set up some pumps right now in suboptimal places just so we can have some bad water. I can't rotate with the T key. I don't know why I always try that, uh, but we do need to have some so we can take care of all that. Uh, and I guess one will work okay for now. We're not going to obviously leave this like this, uh, but we will want to make sure that's uh, good to go. And then this extract, we only have 30 left, but we have all of our uh, dynamite in place, so that's looking okay. And now this channel is done with the exception of these two right here, which will be another uh, four, di uh, four dynamite, four extract. We'll have 26 left, which is going to be enough for us to run this a tiny bit and get, uh, what's that, 26 times, 26 times six is math. Yeah, I'm, I'm so good at math. Uh, but that would get us a couple more, uh, a couple more blocks of dirt. Not that we really need to be super uh, worried about that in the, uh, the first place anyway. But they'll take care of this. They'll take care of this. Uh, pump out some bad water. And then we can make some extract. Obviously, there's not going to be any flow here during a drought. So that's not going to be something we need to focus too much on. But the pump is going. We've got Lord Alexander Howell down here. Maybe not quite yet. Uh, a really super long, miserable commute. I am sorry, friend. But <laughs> you got you got to do what you got to do, right? Uh, just get in here and start pumping away store some bad water for us and make it so we can operate a centrifuge which I suppose uh, takes 200 HP we did just learn about the large power wheel employing four beavers using 100 logs to make a, uh, a truly miserable power contraption so uh, oh should I, should I do this oh that would be so stupid that would be so incredibly stupid of me to do this. Let's do it. Let's uh let's do something let's do something really stupid just for the uh just for the sake of doing something really stupid. Let's uh let's make ourselves a little spot here. Make a centrifuge. Actually that should be probably eh, it doesn't matter. I don't need to pull teeth over this. Let's put our <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always want to push T to rotate? Stop it. Uh, build these two things. Make some... Actually, no, they haven't started building it yet. Let's um, let's move those just a touch. Just a touch. So I can put in a medium tank here for extract so I don't have to stress out about it. We are building suboptimally today, boys and girls. Suboptimally, and it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So that is going to hopefully, hopefully allow us to uh, build some more dirt here and then uh, take care of everything else. But all I need to do 
is get enough extract to uh, uh, to come over here and uh, blow this up. Eight day drought. We can handle eight days just fine. Uh, but what we do need to do is go ahead and put our bridges out here. And I said, I think it needs the five by one. Is that going to be five or is that going to be four? Oh, perfect. It's five. So five by one uh, bridge right here. Actually, no, I lied. That doesn't get bridged. What am I doing? Well, we still do uh, still do need the five by one, but that, that part goes down here. This has to be blocked off. And that's how we get to the other side. We just have to make sure that we have the uh, ability to take care of everything first. I don't know. Kind of fumbling around. Probably going to run out of time. But uh, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes, friends. So if we have this, have this blocked off first. Because these are, these are set uh, to lower priority. Yeah, get this, get this built. Get this built. And we should see stuff start to uh, go a little bit, a little bit more interesting here. We're still pumping, but um, oh, well, I didn't think. Hold on, why? If it's a drought, why is there? Hmm, why is there still more good water coming out? That's not how droughts work, because this is all. This is all completely cleared out, but this side, this side isn't. What did I, what did I do wrong? It's not coming out here. There's no more good water coming out. I guess because, oh, oh man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Why did I, why did I do that that way? Um, this is, this blowing up actually just drains all of the water. All of the water from this middle tier all the way out. Now I can't get any more bad water. Why am I like this? Why? Why am I like this? Oh my god, man. Well, I have... um. Wait, where's my bad water going? Where... I don't have a centrifuge up here, do I? I don't think I do. Because I only have 12 here. So what... I thought I had more than 12 bad water. Where, 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 where did the rest of it go? None of these buildings use bad water, right? Right? Am I, am I like actually losing my mind again for the 20th time in one episode? I mean, I guess. I guess that's what's happening. Oh, man. I can't even. Ugh, oh, what a pain. After all that time. All that time to take. Jeez, what a pain in the. You guys know how this works. I don't edit these videos. If I fail, I leave it in. So. Well, let's go do something else for the next 13 and a half minutes while this drought ends. Because I guess there's literally nothing else I can do. Oh, they're making dynamite with it. Oh, I didn't want that. I did not want that. I did not want that. Did not want that. Pause and pause. Why is it not showing me the uh, paused icons? Oh, because it's not paused. All right. That is exactly... Oh, good. The bad water can still get taken out of it. That is exactly what was happening. Uh, why did I forget? Why did I forget that bad water is used to make dynamite? That is such a me thing to do. Well, at the very least, I can... Um, I can make some extract. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is... So frustrating. I had this whole thing set up. The whole thing set up in a way that I thought was going to make uh, make sense. But I did it the wrong way because, oh, I'm just so intelligent. That's me. All right. Well, we can still do stuff while we're waiting. Um, we do have this uh, all set up. I can uh, start working on another set over here. I have that going there. Uh, we have plenty of wood. That's that's a good thing. We have tons of wood. Uh, so why don't we... I wish I could just copy-paste this. That would be so convenient. Uh, let's just... Let's just make another one of these. 
That's so deflating. That is so deflating. Oh my god, man. That, that is... Oh, that's such a letdown. That is such a letdown. But, I don't know. Do what you gotta do. Thankfully, I can put this here, and that will allow me to uh, still access this area. Because I want to... Uh, I want to get these trees all cut down and replant everything here. Just like how we had done before, this needs to be a path which I actually can't put any of here. Uh, this has to be irrigation barriered, which I can only do a couple of these. And then this needs to just be land, which uh, I need the dirt for other stuff. So that gives them something to do, if uh, nothing else. You know what I should do is I should have these, um, I should have these connect. How wide is this? Um, eight. I have, oh, I don't have any of these shorter ones. Uh, the way these are set up, though, I have to have platforms on either side. So if I did that, uh, three buys. Oh, yeah, that that's cute. <laughs> that works. But I don't have to do it that way. I don't have to do it that way because I have, oh, never mind, I do. <laughs> I thought I was going to be smart and use the side platforms. But no, I can't do that. Uh, three by one platforms. Or bridges. That actually looks pretty nice. I think we could be satisfied with that. So we'll just do... Uh, just do this. Yeah, that actually... Uh, actually doesn't look too bad. We can be... Uh, we can be okay with that. All right, so I'm going to put that here. We're going to have to have a lumberjack flag, and it looks like I can fit exactly one <laughs> right here. Yeah, get them to take that out of there. And then, of course, uh, we'll have to have this. Well, we haven't even started trying to connect this. I don't know that we will, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll get something done. We will get something done. This is already set up. Uh, Looks like we have some trees still left. They can't actually get to those, though, so let's take these out and get this going all the way in the corner. Um, we still have plenty of metal over here, so I'm not going to worry about getting this too perfectly set up yet, but I will continue to harvest some trees after I forget where the lumberjack flag is. Uh, we'll just put maybe three of those over there. It should be all right. Yep, that'll keep him busy for a little bit of time there. That should be okay. Uh, Food-wise, uh, we're still, for some reason, not producing enough uh, fermented cassava. I know I, I only have uh, these two fermenters right here working on it. Um, mushrooms, um, etc. That's all fine. These don't need the canola oil, so uh, not having the canola oil storage over here is fine. But... Uh, we do have four of these oil presses making canola oil that have to go all the way across here. That's obviously not ideal. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. But again, this is not a permanent setup. This is just what we have uh, what we have going on right now. So that is, I suppose, fine that this is how it is. Yeah, uh, I this, this guy doesn't need to be doing this anymore because there's literally no... Uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. It's actually It's actually getting bad water? No way, there's no bad water here. Okay, alright. If, if it's working... If it's working, I, I'll let it go. <laughs> it's just gonna be really slow. Really, 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 really slow. But I have 39, 39 extract, which is gonna be enough to do... Uh, 19. <laughs> 19 of these triple dynamites, which is... A single strip, you know, a single strip actually, actually would, uh, would work, would work. How, how far into this 20, 21%? If I have one more, no, I need three more, three more bad water. I can make one more extract, but if I can have a single channel here, then that is going to go a really long way, uh, to blocking this out eventually which I guess we'll see what happens this video is already approaching an hour so uh, 
those of you who don't like the long videos, well, you probably saw how long this video is and you didn't click on it anyway, so I guess I'm talking to nobody. It's going to be a long one, folks. Strap in, those of you who can see how long the video is, because I don't currently know. I do not know how long it is, but I did want to get that other thing uh, completely done. So other things we can focus on while we're waiting on that, we have the next four days to uh, play with here. Uh, I was going to build exercise plazas, so that just needs to be completely uh, yeah, completely filled in here with double platforms. And that guy, where is the exercise platform? Right, exercise platform, exercise plaza. There we go. I can use the correct terms for things sometimes. So that goes there. Extra space is on the right for literally no reason whatsoever. And then uh, on the side up here, we can put our scratching posts. It's like beavers or cats for some reason. Uh, but this needs to be platform, platform, platform. And then uh, we have to take this out and put in irrigation barriers. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to. We choose to. Theoretically. So that gives them plenty to work on. Uh, so that's going to be good. Those beavers are going to have access to some nice exercise like these guys do. And these guys do. In, of course, we want to relocate our deep water pumps into the corners once we have all of that taken care of. But that's something that the dirt excavators work on. Except I can't turn the dirt excavator on because it uses the extract that we don't have to get the dirt that we need but can't make. So do we have... I guess this is still uh, incredibly slow, but it is working. I am I am just astounded that this works. Oh no, the uh, the um, term that I should know and can't remember is increasing concentration. There we go. Yeah, because now it's no longer flowing out of here because I guess we drained all the water, uh, but it is continuing to kind of circle around for some reason. I guess there's. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you why. It's just working. And this is... Well, he's not pumping right now. But it is it is working. It is making its way. And I guess that's... Uh, I guess that's working out. So now, now I got the problem of... I wanted to... Uh, no, I could just move this to the other side. That's not a big deal. Bad water pumps. I can put in... These aren't going to stay here. Don't worry. Don't worry, they're not going to stay here, but they do have to be here. They do have to be here. So this will be uh, moved out anyway. I can go ahead and I can build these uh, water wheels, or at least some of them, because we have the materials to do it. Might as well go ahead and get that knocked out. We can probably... Well, no. No, I can't do it that way. But if I build these... Then I can get rid of this guy, and then I can build a bridge across so we can do all this other stuff. Ah, oh, man. You know, when I was a kid, they thought I was smart, so they put me in the gifted program, and that was just a colossal mistake. But I digress. Let's, uh, let's keep moving and get uh, the rest of these taken out. I'll just go ahead and get a bunch of that uh, once we get across there. So if they can get this brought in, I don't know. I think they're still building stuff up here. Please do not crash. Thank you. Uh, this was the one they just built, I think. Yeah, so that's all finished. I guess they're done. Finished. They're not biscuits. Um, nobody's exercising during the day, I suppose. But we're making progress. Even if it's slow. Even if it's frustrating. Even if it causes some of you to leave angry comments about how dumb I am. That's fine. I read them anyway. And I appreciate you just as much. Because, yes, I, I do make some very stupid choices. But this one's operating, which means this one can go away. Which means I can finally put in the bridge over here. Um, the 5 by one Yes. 5 by one Get that in. That's going to allow us to get to the other side. And then we can actually, uh, actually get this whole thing going here. Give these guys plenty of stuff to do. The only bad thing is the uh, bad water tank here now does not need to exist. So that can go away. That'll be uh, a okay. So actually, this this does need to be here in that spot. I lied because this is now going to be 
Well, that also has to be there. Oh, you know what I didn't even think about? I did not. I did not do this right. I didn't do it right. Because the way that the nub goes, the nub has to be here. But I, in my infinite wisdom, massive sarcasm quotes, uh, forgot that I needed the path to go here. Because the path has to get onto this side of the thing because of the way this is. Why, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> what, genuinely, genuinely, why did I do this to myself? Well, um, I guess, oh, I hate this so much. I guess we can do that and just, um, <sighs> it's so ugly. It's, oh, it's so ugly. It is painful, painfully ugly. It's, it's so, oh, it's so ugly. But, uh. Yeah, I, I, I got I got nothing. Wait, what do you mean I can't build this? Oh, okay, duh. That has to go here. That That's why I had to move it, because this has to go on that side, and that's just the way it is. So I look forward to the comments telling me how I did this wrong, because uh, I, genuinely, uh, I genuinely believe I have severely messed up doing something, but I could not tell you what it is. Okay, these are actually going much faster than I thought they were. Good, 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 good. Let's um, let's get these suspension bridges up and running here. Uh, we also need to do. Um, oh, I think I have this set up the correct way. Because this is going to be a path here. We're going to not need a path around that side. If I come in all the way, I believe. Uh, I believe I've done this right. If I have here, 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 here. Oh, okay, yeah. That's um, that's gonna work. Cause this is gonna be ten. We'll have a path go all the way around, uh, connected up here, and then this uh, can be set up like that, I suppose. But we don't have the resources to build that right now, so we will absolutely not make them do that we just have to remember that's how that's going to be all right so suspension bridge five by one five by one over here uh metal blocks wise we're good planks wise we're good logs wise we are more than good this stuff is looking fine uh we actually have fermented cassava fermented mushrooms and they're just about gone but that's working out okay uh did they actually start building these oh yes they did they actually actually did so we probably want to go ahead just for the sake of um, actually getting stuff accomplished here. Uh, have a repository for logs and planks set to obtain. Probably should have actually done this way, way long ago, but let's uh, let's get those built so we don't have to have these guys go all the way across. Haulers can take care of this and get that done. Good news is there's half a day left in the drought and then very, very soon we will have more uh, bad water coming in so we can make more of the extract so we can do everything else that we've got to do. Uh, we have our tank here for extract, uh, which means this one up here can actually go away because we're not going to need the extract to do anything up here. We only need it down here. Plus, we were going to build stuff here anyway at some point once we uh, got everything figured out. So that I suppose is fine. Get it all brought down here uh, where it should be. Uh, it says we only have 18 but that's because the rest of this is on the ground. They haven't come and gotten it yet. But they will. And once they can get across here we can have our uh, stuff all removed. In fact since we are here I will just take the time to manually get rid of the uh, rest of this, and we'll move on from there. All right, so that's going to be demolish all of these, demolish all of these, that, and cycle 21 begins. Get rid of that. There we go. This is going to be where? 
Yeah, now I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do <laughs> gonna have to do this garbage again. Okay, that that goes here. That goes there. That's why I had that set up. Like so, that's gonna be fine. They just have to build this suspension bridge next, and we will get there. Uh, this may end up being less efficient right now because of uh, all the fresh water coming through here. But, but, once it starts making power, we're going to be in very, very good shape. Because then I can just uh, actually get rid of their large power. Look at, the, look at these guys walking around in a circle like this. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That is just such a fascinating design. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's turning. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it's it's turning gear. We can't see him moving, but it's turning gears in the <laughs> in this side of this. Oh man, I love this kind of mechanical engineering stuff. I wish I was better at math so I could actually do it. But that's that's really cool to look at. Of course, of course. <laughs> Stupid idiot. The the spot where I put these is now entirely filled. Oh no, it's now entirely filled with good water coming out of the uh Yeah, look, it's um yeah, I I understand. I know. I know. <laughs> this is man. This is a comedy of errors and bad decision making is is what this is. So, that being said, I uh Yes, it's time to build another set of deep bad water pumps. Oh, what a yeah, what a pain, what a pain. I have a a pox upon society. That is absolutely astounding negligence, honestly. So we'll. Uh, We'll let these guys do what they gotta do, I guess. Oh, and not only that, no, shoot. I, I am, I am beside myself with just, uh, I, mm, yeah, I, you know what, it's, words are insufficient. Words are absolutely, completely insufficient to describe the, uh, the breadth of my incompetence. Um, blanks go here. That's we're we're just we're just gonna do that. So this is what I was supposed to blow up. This whole section here, all this, all this was supposed to be blown up. Oh my god, dude! All right, do I have do I have space here to just put one of these? No, I can't build that there. I can't put it there because that's where I have... Oh, whoa. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm out of ideas. <laughs> it is absolutely spellbinding. The amount of just complete idiocy that spews forth from my brain into this game. How much power are we making? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that almost makes up for it. 800 some. Yeah. Yes, Siri. That, that is amazing. That is a thing of beauty. So let's, um, let's get this stuff removed, shall we? Because I got some, uh, I got some stuff to do, and you guys want to go do other things with your lives aside from watching me fumble with this game for an hour and a half. Okay, so that's looking fine. Let's um, let's lower the priority on these guys, shall we? Uh, yeah, come over here and blow this up. And by blow it up, I mean unplant it, and uh, we can all move on to bigger and better things. So, all that being said, again, for like the eighth time, I will reconfigure the paths once more. I promise you this idea made sense when I actually set out to do it. It's just regrettable that I have managed to completely just 
insert your favorite word here, it up. <laughs> it's... Man, that's astounding. But this does need to be blasted down, and I do have 140 explosives, so I can, I suppose, actually get into this. But I, uh, I do not believe I need to be wasting any more, any more energy on uh, doing this the wrong way. So let's just set out right now, get this little notch cut out, and then do the rest of this. I probably should have done the uh, the one the one dynamite first, but you know how this goes. Because for some reason, a long, long time ago when I started making these videos, I said, I'm going to post unedited Timberborn content and people are going to love it. Well, now we get to pay for our sins and suffer through this together. But that's uh, pretty sure that's why most of you are here in the first place, because you enjoy my suffering. You know, eh, that's fair. I advertise it, and you decided that would be a fun thing to do, so I absolutely cannot get angry with you. Absolutely not. Because objectively, it is kind of funny. It is uh, pretty genuinely hilarious just how incompetent at <laughs> some of this I am. Uh, so this is in place, and they're actually cutting trees down. So, you know, we have actually accomplished something today. We've gotten something done even if it's not the uh, the beautiful thing that uh, I promised all of you would just be a fantastic, perfectly efficient, no problems whatsoever solution to the bad water. Isn't it, isn't it just wonderful? Isn't this just fantastic? Well, we are making extract very slowly. Uh, it is a process, and we are working on it. This is just about done. We'll detonate this and then uh, put these right here and then start the process all the way down the other side. And we should eventually get there. Should not be that big of a problem. Just want to make sure we have that set up before I turn the dirt excavator back on so that when we actually uh, cap this off, the water has somewhere to go. That's that's the whole reason we're doing it in this order. We could have could have flipped it around, but uh, it would have flooded stuff and it would have caused a lot of problems. So let's um, do our best to avoid that if we can at all uh, do that. So that is just about done. We're just waiting on this one last one. To get finished, then we can set that off. So that's not uh, dependent on anything. All right, so. That's going to look nice once it's all uh, done and dusted, as the kids say. And by kids, I mean adult men who make uh, videos from uh, Great Britain. Specifically, uh, Biffa plays indie games. Who, by the way, is now doing Timberborn videos. Go check them out. It's good stuff. But, um, yeah. We're getting somewhere, finally. He says, looking at the recording timer in OBS that says 1 hour, 14 minutes, and 55 seconds. <laughs> you want unedited content, you got it. You got it. So we're working. We are working. We're getting it done. So uh, they are probably probably able to do a little bit more here. If I put in a couple more of these Lumberjack flags, at least. Let's prioritize these. Because uh, then if they can get this cleared out while they're working down here, then we're going to be that much closer to actually and truly accomplishing something, which is always going to be fun. I also just realized that uh, we don't have any extract storage up here, so this is going to take quite some time once I turn this back on. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. This is all here. That's just about done. Um, done. So now we can do the next... Get that taken care of. But most importantly, now that this exists, uh, I can turn this back on. He says not clicking on it. There we go. Yeah, get back in here, uh, make some dirt so we can finally get this whole thing uh, just completely crossed over. Uh, connect all of our stuff here. 
And then we're going to be in very, very good shape. Eventually, once all of this is taken care of. So we should see some extract make its way up here to run the dirt excavator. I probably should just go ahead and put in a tank here for extract. We got plenty of gear, so that's fine to make it a medium. Oh, that's not bad water. Extract. There we go. Because this can actually run a lot longer than I thought it would. But now, now I can come back here and start building this stuff, which is what they were uh, always uh, supposed to do. So now, now they can come down here and do it. Although I think, pretty sure they're going to be building this. And that's going to be how that goes. So we'll come back and take a look at that a little bit later. Uh, but I do, since now they're starting to get into all of this, uh, I do want to make sure we can go ahead and get this set up. Uh, put our paths all the way around. And then um, uh, large tanks. I'm just going to go ahead and build two for right now. Set those to bad water uh, supply. So that's going to occupy the builders quite substantially. But that will also allow them to do what they need to do. And we will eventually, eventually, uh, get to uh, all this other stuff. So, now we can talk about how this is going to be set up. Uh, there's not really a specific way this has to be done. But, um, this will fit. Assuming I'm not stupid with how I set this up, I can fit eight of these on a side. So, 16 total. I just have to get this out of the way once all the other stuff's put back in place. So that's uh, that, but I can't really uh, use these until the bad water actually flows back there. So we will take those back out just so we don't waste our, our efforts or anything. So that's going to be a whole process down there. Of course, this is going to be almost completely useless since water can go through here and here now. But uh, it's going to make sense once this is all, all in place. It, I promise it's going to make sense. So we're, we're needing extract because they're not bringing it up there. But I should I really should blast first. No, no we've we've got dirt. They can actually uh, they can actually do it. Can put this stuff right here. I just need to make sure this is uh, built first, if they have the ability to. I really should really should have a dirt uh, storage down here, but I guess. Probably, probably a little late for that. We're not going to do that much. Well, actually, no. I lied. Seems to be a very common thing at this point. But I will just go ahead and put in... Uh, I'll put in a little thing right here for dirt. Because we're going to need most of it down here. And that should be okay. Little bits and pieces of stuff. Little bits and pieces of stuff. Long episode... Hope you like it. If you don't, you already clicked off, so that's fine. How are we looking over here? Yeah, now now we're talking. Can make much more progress here. We can go ahead and start putting this path in. And then uh, count four in from there and build another one. I don't think I have... Oh, yeah, this is all trees still, so that's fine. Uh, maybe. Maybe on this side. One, two, three... Or yeah, that's where that path goes. This is where this path comes out on this side. And then obviously these uh, trees haven't been removed yet, but that's going to be fine too. Making progress, making progress very, very slowly, but it is still progress. As long as you don't stop, right? Now the really, the really funny part is going to be when we're still in another drought here in, uh, in another seven days and I haven't figured this whole thing out yet. That's going to be really funny. And by really funny, I mean I'm going to get actually probably severely irritated and have to uh, cut parts of the video out because I will say unsavory things that are not suitable for consumption on this channel. But that's fine. That's the honest truth. That's how it works. I try my very best to be transparent and uh, honest with you guys. So, again, suffering. Not literal suffering, you, you get the idea, but I digress 
heavily and repeatedly with extreme severity. 17 empty beds, so we don't need to build any more of these right now, but it probably would not be a bad idea to start that process uh, soon just to uh, do some symmetry here. And we're going to need more beavers pretty soon anyway, so let's uh, let's get on that. I'll put in uh, two more breeding pods right there, and then I believe these are doubles are going to be high enough, I think. Yes, there we go. Barracks, barracks, barracks. I can't count. What else is new? That goes there. Another one of these goes here. And then along this side, we'll continue to put in uh, all the rest of this stuff here. And I believe uh, what I had going on right here, four of those, four of those. Then this was also going to right about here. And yep, that needs one more here. See, look at us. We're actually uh, we're actually building. That goes there. That goes there. Uh, the showers are still in the same spot. I don't know why I can't ever remember where those go. And then we will put our ladders here. And then where's our rooftop terraces? Right here. Yes. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. There there that works and then finally on the top we do this with a mirror mirror image and then the uh, things go on the left and the other things go on the right all right well that'll keep them busy for a little bit of time once they get bored with everything wow that was fast I'm building all this that is looking pretty uh pretty snazzy there Getting closer to having... Oh, yeah, this is going to overflow. Oh, wait, no, it's not. We're good. We just want to make sure we're continuing to open it up. And this is actually starting to back up a little bit. Okay, that's uh, that's good news, because that means I can actually put uh, bad water pumps... I'll flip this guy on uh, this side, I think. Yes, that goes here and here. I'll just build two of those right there, because I know the bad water is starting to... Uh, coagulates not the correct word, but it's starting to get back over here. And that should be a little bit faster anyway. All right. Now we're now we're cooking. What's our progress looking like over here? Not really that much. Okay. Well, we can still keep going back and forth between areas and doing what we can. That's looking good. And then I just have to figure out where the center of this is. It's Probably, probably right here, actually. I know it, it irritates the you-know-what out of you guys because I can't count. But that's, that's the way it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fourteenth tile over goes in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Fourteenth tile. That's where the stairs go which I actually probably should have just uh, made these be stairs. So I will do my best to remember that exact spot as stairs. All right, so that's marked at least. And uh, when we get to the point where we can actually use this space, uh, then we can continue doing so. But for the time being, we just have to let them do what they can do and move back on over. Yeah, okay, this is actually going to work. That's actually going to work. Let's uh, let's build this first. Get these guys going. Because uh, this is probably going to work a lot better having them closer over here to, uh, to feed the centrifuge. Because we got to get some dirt. Um, the triple dynamite is all... Okay, now there's still some extract they need. But that is quite a ways to travel. Once this terrain block is in place, though, that substantially changes. That should make it a whole lot easier. This is just not the uh, not the thing they can build until they have dirt, which I guess now they have another batch of dirt that's coming down. Uh, it is being stored here, not really. I guess they're taking their sweet time to do it, which is uh, fine, I suppose. 
Yeah, they're t they're going to take their time to do that. Everything else, though, water is looking good. Uh, they haven't started building this, obviously, because it hasn't been uh, necessary yet. But we are very, very, very slowly making progress here. Very slowly. Can continue putting in individual pieces. And then soon, soon we'll have all that. We do have uh, incapacitated beavers. Why are you injured? Well, uh, I have medical beds, right? I actually don't remember. I feel like I did and then I got rid of them. So maybe that's something I should address. Oh, I've got space right here. Why do I not, um, why do I not put medical beds there? I really, I really should. If I did and I already forgot, then, uh, I apologize. So we'll put four there. And four there. That seems to, uh, seems to be enough. Eight of those. Although, you know what? Since we're already here. Might as well just stick those. All right, how are we looking? Oh, we're we're pumping now. I got three of these. I'm not going to delete this one. But now that is open. I'm going to let the uh, excavator do its thing for a little bit of time. And uh, we will work our way toward having uh, this set up. Hopefully, hopefully correctly. So this will go all the way across here. Let them take care of that. And then if I refer to my reference image on the left, this will come over three. And then I think the rest of this can be dams. And hopefully that, uh, that works. If it doesn't, then, uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trusting that this is actually a good design. I haven't tested it. I just like, you know what? That looks really cool. Let's do it. That's uh, hopefully, hopefully going to be a good thing. So I, what I will do is I will set this up right here and then this up right here. And then, because of the way this is... Ah, yes, another drought and not a bad tie. That's probably, honestly, a good thing. But we really, really need to make sure that we are uh, getting some bad water. So, if we take a look at how this is set up, let's pause. We actually have bad water here now, and these are operating at a very nice rate of speed. So what I'm going to do... I know, I know... We just, we just finished that, but uh, we're going to come in here and we're going to put in some bad water pumps all the way, all the way on that side. Get these guys going with the utmost of priority. That's set to bad water pumping. Uh, this is half full of planks. I probably should get rid of this and move it somewhere else, but it would take more time than it's worth. So I just need these guys to go ahead and build this, get that done as soon as possible so we can pump all of our bad water before it starts getting, uh, I can't say polluted because it's actually clean, before it starts getting replaced. This is now priority number one, to put these eight bad water pumps in so we can pump so we can continue to put uh, through the centrifuge and do uh, terrain blocks. So this is, oh my God, it's already an hour and a half. So this is what we're going to do. Um, as you are watching this, this is now a time lapse of the construction of the rest of this thing. So uh, hope you enjoy watching the process of this actually get constructed. Uh, by the time we're finished with this, it will be complete. And I will, uh, I will cut back in after to uh, give you a little tour around the completed thing, and then we'll do our uh, our episode conclusion goodbye from there. But, uh, but yeah, I just wanted again to say thanks to Steve for uh, submitting this design and putting the effort into it. I think it is fantastic. Even if I did modify it a little bit, 
uh, to make sure I could still get to the other side of that little uh, bottom piece there. I think it's a whole lot of fun to see uh, a good idea like this come from the community. And like I, like I say, it's a Let's Play series, and it's not a Watch Me Play series. I very much do want you to be involved. So if you ever have an idea, please do let me know. I can't promise I'm going to understand stuff written out in text form. Uh, because it is not always easy for me to visualize things without a, uh, an actual visual aid. But uh, I do always read the comments. I do always uh, take your ideas into account. Uh, so please do always feel free to provide them. Uh, but that being said, the time lapse should be wrapping up right about now. So I will see you on the other side of the transition. All right. That took, in real life, approximately 45 minutes. So let's uh, let's take a look at uh, what this is uh, set up like now. They have a, haven't obviously finished the uh, large tank array, but this is what this ends up looking like completely finished. We have eight water wheels on each side. These are generating a very healthy 9,500 HP. Same over here. Uh, I probably am going to duplicate this on the other side with the centrifuges. We have an immense capacity to make uh, extract when we have... Uh, six of these. I might do eight. I might put one more here. But I've got uh, piles, if you didn't see during the time lapse, uh, for all of the different materials that are necessary to build stuff down here. And what happens is all of this bad water just gets retained back in this pool, flows out these uh, dams here and all of our pumps right here are pumping. I will unpause these as I get more beavers later. But that, I think, is going to be the prototype for how we do all four uh, sides of the map. I think this is fantastic. So thanks again to Steve for uh, contributing this design. And I think this is going to be a whole lot of fun. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed not having another 45 minutes of watching this get built, condensed down to 30 seconds, whatever the time lapse was. Let's check out the other stuff we were working on. Uh, this now is thriving quite nicely. We've got uh, harvesting of the mangrove fruits, which we actually have full storage of now. We need to build some more storage for those. Uh, we've got trees here. These are continuing to get uh, cut down and everything. So I'll do a little bit more here, but I think the rest of this is going to have to wait for uh, next time, considering this is already way, way, way longer than it ever, ever needed to be. And I just have to remember exactly uh, how this is going to be uh, put in here, I think. I think this is the uh, the correct spot for this to go in. Uh, if not, I am sure you will let me know down below. But that's what's uh, that's what's going to go there. We'll go ahead and just put our triple dynamites uh, so we can get that locked and loaded. And I will talk you through the end of this here as we are continuing to get everything done. So we have a bad tide coming up. That's going to be what we're going to work on in the next episode uh, whenever we see back into here. But uh, I am glad we got that other stuff finished because, boy, was that going to be a huge pain if, uh, if that was still being worked on uh, next episode. So we can, uh, we can go ahead and just get this popped in here and then immediately uh, irrigation barriered once again. That's all looking quite nice. Uh, we will, of course, have to keep working on this next time. Uh, but up here, this was all finished. While we were uh, working on our stuff down there, I just didn't bother uh, showing it. But we can go ahead and uh, pop these guys in here just so that gets taken care of. And we now have space for another 67 beavers. So that's going to be a fun thing for us to uh, mess with next time is continuing to expand all of our uh, breeding pods here. I am going to start putting some more in, but I do want to make sure they are staggered so we don't have huge... Uh, birth and death waves. Although I think at this point we have enough of these where it honestly probably doesn't matter that much. So I'll just put in one for right now. Because we do have 14 extra jobs uh, that aren't being worked. And there's going to be a whole lot more once I turn the rest of these on. But I'm so glad this got taken care of this episode. That is going to be fantastic to have and to uh, make sure that we can take full advantage of. So this will be the thumbnail as you saw when you clicked on the video. Uh, but that's, uh, I guess, completely unnecessary information since you already know what that is. But I'm just so happy with this. I think this turned out fantastic. Uh, again, third time, I guess. Thanks, Steve, for contributing this. Always, always welcome to uh, 
keep on suggesting things, all of you as well. So that is where we're going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys get out of here. This is uh, probably the longest episode of this series. It has to be an hour, 40 minutes or whatever it ends up being. But yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, I hope whatever you're doing with the rest of your day, you have a safe and a fun time. And uh, just, again, big thanks to Beard Boosters for all of their support and all the other fun things that they contribute. We'll have plenty more coming with this series, the other series, and the Water Beavers. And then uh, plenty of new fun stuff on the way, including tomorrow a uh, another colony submission review. I think you guys are really, really going to like. So make sure you check that out. And then uh, I'll keep you in the loop on what's coming up next time. But yeah, that's it. We're going to go say goodbye for today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.